UK corporate insolvencies are on the rise. There were more than 1,500 corporate insolvencies in February 2022. Most of these were creditory voluntary liquidations, or CVLs, which had doubled in number from the same time the previous year. But is it across all types of insolvency cases? The stats suggest not. Administrations and other types of formal insolvency appear to be static, with no rises in case numbers reported recently. So, what are those stats? In February 2022, there were 1,329 CVALs, more than double the number in February 2021 and 40% higher than in February 2020. However, numbers for other types of corporate insolvencies remain lower than before the pandemic, although there were more than twice as many compulsory liquidations and almost double the number of administrations in February 2022 compared to the same time last year. So why do we think this is? There are several reasons why it could be. Firstly, directors are taking decisive action after attempting to survive the struggles faced by the pandemic, such as growing debt arrears, pandemic restrictions, supply chain issues, staff hiring battles and absences due to COVID. Recent lifting of restrictions on creditors taking enforcement action and the growing number of zombie companies resulting in a board decision to bring an end to the corporate legal entity. Liquidation is a more cost-effective way of dealing with an insolvent business. HMRC's preferential creditor status has impacted the secured lender's ability to recover its debt from company assets that are not subject to their security, resulting in lower QFC appointments. A change in the prepack legislation with the introduction of the evaluator of the prepack pool and the fact that prepacks have become under closer scrutiny and criticism. And finally, Many business owners have changed their lifestyles during the pandemic and changed their views on continuing to operate struggling businesses. So what's potentially to come? Due to the current economic climate post-pandemic, companies are facing further financial pressures. Increasing inflation, along with rising energy bills, salary costs and raw materials are all problems facing UK PLCs. And the current geopolitical climate is only going to exacerbate matters. This upward trend of rising insolvency cases is only likely to continue, with a potential spiking numbers to be evident in potentially Q2 or Q3 of this year. This is because the many financial support measures introduced by the UK government are now required to be repaid, which is likely to apply increased cash flow pressures on UK business. Whilst not at pre-pandemic levels, the number of administrations seen each month is on the increase, and this trend is only likely to continue. Kroll have the skills and expertise in valuations, corporate finance, debt advisory and restructuring to assist business owners and lenders to find the best option to help them through these difficult times.